Hello everybody, Luke Hodge here and today we're going to be doing a different video from what I normally do like with PCs and vlogging. For people that don't know me, I'm just a general like 16 year old YouTuber that likes caravanning and just likes PCs and everything overall. But anyway, today for most of you will be coming to C4, obviously because of the title, we're going to be in, uh, upgrading from the old spotlight uh, we've got here that are uh, not LED, they get really hot and they burn your fingers and upgrading to LED spotlights but with a benefit of, uh, I don't know because of how far to away you can spot this but with also USB charger uh, functionality uh, functionality? Um, oh god I can't even get my own words out, you'll have to excuse me it's the afternoon, uh, th this car is not plugged in, it's only running off 12 volts, it's freezing in here uh, but. Uh, yeah, this video is going to be mostly on about upgrading these, um, mostly because of the lack of chargers. Uh, this caravan came stock with, I'm not joking, two plug sockets. Now, I've upgraded since then, and I will have other videos if you want to add extra sockets in, LED strips, extra lighting, stuff like that. So keep looking, the channel will be more coming up in the next coming weeks. But anyway, uh, with, without me chatting off for too long, uh, I'll show you how to install them. Okay, so the first step you want to do is you want to find the, uh, undo the screws from the old light. Um, sometimes they can be covered, but they've normally got like like plastic little flips which hide the screws. Sometimes they're plainly seen, but if you can't find them, you'll normally see a little line, and there'll be a little flap. Then you want to just get your normal screwdriver, uh, uh, crosshead screwdriver. Uh, sometimes it can be flat, but just make sure you have the right tools. They're regularly available. Uh, you want to start on doing the screws. Make sure this is off. If you can, turn off the 12 volt system. Sadly, my camera has a bit of a default where you can't actually turn off the 12 volt system, uh, really. So uh, I'm just going to have to do what I can. Um, so I'm just going to make sure the power is off. Uh, well, I think I can turn the power off too. And then we're going to move them. I just forgot there are some functions, but it normally doesn't turn off this light. No, it doesn't. Um, so if you have a way, turn off your 12 volts uh, if you've got a switch that you can do that with. Uh, if you want to, if you want to be more, a bit more security so, or, you know, more safer, you can also disconnect your battery if if you uh, can be bothered to do that uh, and, you know, stuff in general. Um, so I'm just undoing the screw. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I just don't want it to drop in my face. Okay, right, there we go. Right then, so I've removed the two screws uh, and now the light fixture is currently hanging. Uh, I'm just going to close those little flaps. Now, depending what the case may be, you might have, this is a wide one and it has a cutout for a wide light. Uh, so you might need to make a template. I wasn't quite sure if it was, but I did have a brief memory. I haven't, you know, came behind before. So you might have to make a template, like a wooden template or a piece of wood, because the opening could be too wide. If you do so, just draw it around. You can get some little like piece of wood or whatever you have. Draw out, make a cover, and then you can mount them. Because uh, my 12, these are the new ones. I'm not quite sure if they're going to cover the whole no, they're gonna, I'm need, gonna have to make a template uh, cover. So uh, if you wanna make a template, then I recommend just um, sort of like copying this. Uh, anyway, I'll show you how to do that in the video, but for now, let's just uh, disconnect all of this so we can get it unplugged and removed. Uh, right, okay. Um, so, just start with unplugging these. Be careful not to cut yourself or electrocute yourself. If that's possible. Uh, I'll just get you back to you guys when I've unplugged this and got the wires bare bone because at the moment I can't even unplug them because they've uh, glued them together. So I'll be wet with you when I've uh, got right it on. everybody. So I've got an update. Uh, this could infect you, affect you, this could not. Uh, in this case, this is heat shrink that I did not realise, and these wires have actually been soldered together. So, in this step, if you were lucky enough and these were just pull-offs, then you'd be able to click the new ones in, and away you go. 
Um, but uh, if you're like me and you're very unlucky and you haven't got spay connectors and have been sold together, then you're going to have to figure out which one's positive and negative and cut these uh, wires uh, and solder them on, on spay connectors or chop off the spay connectors off your new light and then wire that in with the harness and then you'll be able to obviously turn it on and turn it off. Uh, so I've got to disconnect the battery in my case um, because I haven't got any way of turning off the 12 volts. Uh, when I've done that, I'll be able to uh, get this thing back. Uh, then I'll be able to hook these up and get them together. So this might be day two, but uh, I'll see when hey, everybody. I had to go out and get some spade connectors. Uh, so I've already crimped this side and tested the light. So I'm basically going to show you the step on the other side of the light. So I'm just going to quickly take this one out and I'll show you what to do when I've got it out. Okay, so the light is out and I've got to say that whoever did this one did obviously a lot more better job by just tying them up here in a way. But something weird I just found, I don't know if it's been come before, but I just found on place this when I got out. I think this is like a five or... 10 pence penny literally just was placed on top of it so gotta say that's a bit weird but uh either way the light's out so now as i know what i'm doing i'm basically gonna just chop these wires because i was doing it first and i wanted to check out the polarity and stuff like that i disconnected the battery for as for my own safety because i wasn't quite sure exactly what was what so basically what i'm gonna do is is i'm gonna snip off this here with my uh, cutters oh yeah cutters uh, I'm going to cut there we go oh voila oh oh damn I didn't notice they actually got spade connectors but obviously mine was slightly tucked up on the other side oh oh I could have saved myself lots of time oh oh well <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh that's beautiful. Okay. Uh, so you can just pull them out and get the spade connectors out. But uh, I didn't realise that as the other side was uh, obviously cable tied up. But uh, otherwise we won't need to do that again. Um, so uh, just in case it is, all you need to do is basically just cut these and then get some crimp on connectors. Uh, like these and then you can join them up and stuff like that but that's embarrassing because uh, that means then on the other side um, it's actually all good but then when when you know it's all good all you need to do is hook these up make sure you get the white stripe on plug this in like this uh, just make sure it's off before I go for the other and there you go, light. And this is a dimble one as well, but you make it faster, faster, uh, brighter and dimble, and also USB charging. So uh, there you go, dimmable light. Uh, so I'm going to make a bracket so I can tuck this all up here and uh, then we'll be all good because the gap's a bit too wide. But apart from that though, new light, there we go. Okay guys, it's, it's day two actually, I've had to make an adapter because uh, the light wouldn't fit like I said the gap was too big so I've made an adapter and I've had to do some adjustments as well so the wires and things didn't catch for the locations and you know stuff like that but apart from that this is uh, ready to go in so uh, I'm gonna just put the light in um, so here we go uh, I'm gonna plug it in first and also check it works um, so let's have a look here. This is that one, and then that goes into that, and then check it actually works like it does. Yeah, still actually functions, that's good. Right, and then shove that up the hole in the ceiling. Okay. 
the difficult part is actually lining up to me. The difficult part is just line, lining up. It's lining all this up. And also trying to keep it in the in the air. Well, let me just grab another screw. Uh, I hope you guys can see this okay. I'm just gonna have a check because my, there we go, that's all right. Okay, um, so I'm just about to put the last, the other screw in. I haven't tightened them up, all of them up fully yet. This is just so I can get it started so it's not hanging by a thread. Still works. That'd be so embarrassing if it didn't work. Believe me, um, because I've done a lot of this off camera to get it just to wise on the screws to fit, this has took like a lot longer than what normal is. So if you have to make an adapter plate like I have, don't you might need some extra tools. But if you're replacing something similar to this or just upgrading from this so it doesn't have the dimmable function, then this will be a straight easy job for you. Luckily, my dad's about to come in, so uh, he almost don't be wrong. Then uh, just pop this up through. Uh, if I can push through the wires, they're a little tight. Uh, I'll just get back to you when I've uh, pushed it all the way through home. Okay, everybody, so... I've now got it in, uh, settled home, it holds it in, it's a little bit tight on the wire but it also holds everything in place. Check it still works if it is the same case for you, luckily it does. Uh, so all you need to do now is pop it in and then twist like that. And there we go ladies and gentlemen, dimmable lights with USB charging. So. Uh, there you go. Awesome. Okay then, so I've also obviously done the side, I've decided I would uh, show the one that we originally would have start with when we used to have the old ones installed. Um, so yeah, obviously they are a lot more newer and a lot more posher, they're a lot more adjustable, you can turn them on can actually dim them so you can make them brighter and you can make them you know slightly less brighter um, but also though now compared to what the old ones couldn't do and this is the main thing that catches up from also upgrading so it's not just because they're LEDs but also doing the whole thing is now I can introduce uh, a mobile phone I'm using my old one for people that know me I, I've not gone back to my old iPhone but I can officially now just plug in my iPhone charger, and now I'm now charging with the light, and that is really impressive. And I'm not joking here, no, so it's got two though on the one light, so you can have like one photo, or you can have your phone, and you could have your Apple Watch on the other side, and you're in. So, simple as that, you can be charging in no time. So with all of that out of the way, I suppose that is pretty much it for this video. Um, so yeah, this is an installation and review of these, I suppose as well. They're very easy to do. You can't really review some lights, but they're um, very adjustable though. You can put them in any direction you like, and they're very durable as well, uh, compared to, as they only cost £19 now, £99. Now, depending, this could um, change for when you look. But uh, I'll put a link into this in the description to uh, to pick one of these up if you're interested. And mostly because uh, these are quite hard to find. I saw somebody had the idea, and I saw a lot of modern caravans had it, but they're very hard to find with the USB function, but and also with the dimmable ones. Um, so if you're interested in these, I'll put a link in the description. But uh, apart from that, though, this was Luke Hodge, and I will see you in the next video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.